Hello friends, in this video we will talk about how to create an interactive chart which has a flexibility of selecting one numeric item at a time and our chart changes based on our selection. And then also we will have the flexibility to select any particular product. Okay, and we will use option buttons, choose function, then pivot tables and slicers. Now before starting, if you are coming first time on our channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get updates about upcoming videos. Let us start the process. This is the data which we are going to use. We have created a pivot table. Pivot table is using three, four fields. And just to show you, we are using country in rows and then in columns, sales, quantity and average price. Okay. If you want to learn more about pivot tables, check the link in the description below or in the top right corner. After the pivot table is there, if I create a chart directly, what happens? All the three columns comes into the chart, but because the magnitude of the numbers is varying a lot, only sales is visible properly. Quantity is sometimes visible, sometimes it's very less in comparison to sales and price is barely visible to us. Okay. So what we want, we want a chart where we have the flexibility to select any one of them at a time. Okay. So to do that, we will need option buttons. I will come to the dashboard sheet here. I will create option buttons. I will go to developer tab, then insert. And this is my option button. And I can click anywhere on the screen. That's my option button. And you can always copy it and paste it again to generate second time copy paste it again and that's three option buttons okay so we are going to have three option buttons okay whatever you created first we will name it as sales second one we will name it as quantity and third one we will name it as average price when i'm clicking these option buttons nothing is happening okay so unless we link them to a cell they are not useful to us okay so let us try to link it with e1 so i will link any one of them and format control and then link to this cell and when i click ok when i select sales one is coming so you can link any one of them all three of them will be linked automatically the order of creation is very important because whatever you created first will generate one second and third so this order is very important to remember okay now coming to this sheet i will just connect my option button cell to this sheet so that i can see the number here itself rather than going there okay otherwise there is no relevance of this cell now first let me simply connect the x-axis items okay so that's simple now out of these three numeric columns i want one at a time so for that i will use a choose function what is choose function in simple terms you can say that choose function is like if function but it works only with numbers okay so it requires an index number that means numeric values and i will freeze it with dollars so whenever this d1 will be one it should use this value now what this value is i will select sales when this value is 2, D1 is 2, it will select second value. Second value I will refer here. And similarly, third will come from E5. Okay. And when I go there in downward direction, these are the numbers which are appearing. Okay. Now I will create a chart. I can go to insert and then chart. And this is the chart which I will cut and put it on this is screen okay i will keep these items at the top and i will remove the grid lines so that it looks better then if you see here currently it's three because the average price is selected sales quantity average price so do you see when i'm selecting this this is changing this value because this is one, the choose function is choosing first value, which is C5 and that is this one. When it becomes two, let's say we change it to two. Okay. This becomes 
quantity and when we select three this becomes average price okay so this is dynamic this data is dynamic because of choose function and this value this value is getting generated from option button so that's how this interactivity is working now because this is a pivot table so what we can do we can come back here and let's say i will add a slicer for products i will cut it and i will paste it here and i will try to minimize it a little bit i will go to options and bring the number of columns to two and increase the height to some points okay you should align it properly with the chart so that it looks better so this cell is we can hide it also so control one and i can go to the formatting and here three semicolons it will keep the value but it will not show the value and i can say no fill so it looks clean to us okay so this is our dashboard we can select any particular product okay using the slicer we can select a numeric item which is sales or quantity or average price and that's our interactive chart using option buttons and slicers hope you found it useful please like share and comment and also subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can get regular updates on upcoming videos